Alright, so this is a reaction video to the song Fest Up by Cheryl. This is taken from her debut EP, Transition. If you don't know, now you know, so make sure you go stream that EP as soon as possible. After this video though, obviously, um, the link to the original video is in the description box below. Um, so yeah, let's go. Before I even get into that, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. But if you're going to suggest something, leave that in the comment section below. Hit up the socials, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that, all that, all that. So, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, yeah. Wanted. Exactly, because it's wanted, isn't it? Okay. Like in the color schemes with the video. Trace! Alright. Some sensual stuff going on. I tell myself I... Typical women shit, innit? Like having all that makeup gear right there. Like, why do you need that many brushes? Hold up. Why do you need that many brushes? We ain't gonna brush over that. Why do you need that many brushes? Like, make that. Maybe there's some things that some guys are not supposed to understand. Maybe that's one of them, but that, I mean, why do you need that many brushes? But anyway, listen, like I said, I'm, not, I'm liking the, the aesthetics already. Um, I really love the tune anyway. If you listen to, if you see my review or transition EP, then you would know that I really love this tune. Um, but yeah, like, what was I going to say? So yeah, like, so basically, the aesthetics, you know what I mean? I like how already the backdrop, Matching what she's wearing. In fact, in one particular scene, she's reminding me of the brat because the brat had the braids. Even though she's wearing locks, um, I know even the, the 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 bandana as well. That's that's some the brat vibes to me. That's what I get. Yeah. So um, whether she drew inspiration from the brat, I don't know. But you know, the brat is you know is what it is. It just fits my tie a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it moving. Let's go. Oh yeah, I like the part where she was laying down and all the sensual stuff. I like that still. Let's go. Got a compromise. You're saying baby don't play, but you're laying down like that. Baby, we gonna play. We gonna play, play, play. We gonna do an adult play. You laying down like that, baby don't play. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is a man supposed to do? You want me to play my butt or let me play my butt by us doing some adult stuff, some adult play, huh? I don't know why I was putting on that accent. What's, what's, what's wrong with me? I'm I'm gas right now. Gas. That's, that's probably why. But yeah, I'm liking the visuals so far as well. Still, like, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm deeper in the lyrics even more. It's like, you know, you have to compromise. You you just do. You need to. The reason why you need to compromise because you're saying for a man for a man for the man to be the man right but that's just it the man takes the lead he makes his, he makes the decisions do you see what i'm saying so either way you're gonna have to compromise which is fine okay but let's keep moving Alright, so you're looking in my eyes 
And you know what's up. Do you really know what's up? But the see, here's the thing. This is the catch. See? And this is from experience as well. When a man fesses up that he is attracted to a woman, to that woman that he's attracted to, whatever. Like, guess what happens? Nine out of ten times, or ten out of ten times, well, nine out of ten times really, that woman becomes less attracted to that man. Unless he backs it up with his action. So what I would suggest, just like the, the, the I don't know if you know about the, the um, uh, what's it called? You know how, I don't know like where you're watching this from here, yeah, but back in the day, yeah, when man was a you in it, like, like, um, there was this toy called Action Man. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? The man has to be an action man. Man's got to be an action figure. Not be still and do nothing. I'm not saying that part. I'm talking about literally be an action man. You've got to take action. A man takes action. Like, he takes action. Like, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So, I'm going to fess up by taking action. Yeah, I'm going to take action now. If you reject, now this is, if you're a man watching this, pay attention to this very closely. If a woman rejects your advances, back up, back up, back up, back up, and go a different direction in terms of move the fuck away from her because she's not on it. She's just not on it. Doesn't matter if you think she's paying off to get, she's not on it. Just move on to someone else. But, before I say move on to someone else, make sure that you're on your purpose, aka your personal mission on earth. You hear me? Because then you're more likely to attract another woman or attract women that are more able to be, um, your chances are, your chances of you being rejected will be quite slim, like very slim. Because they're going to be on it. You're going to see it for yourself. You know what I mean? And I'm talking from experience. So, um, but anyway, let's keep it moving. Wait, you wear the same color as Madonna. The brand. Yeah, same color. Oh. Maybe he's making it hard because he is scared. Did you ever think about that? Look, let's be real here. There's some guys that are scared because, you know, they may see you as a 10 or 9 or a 10 and they don't want to fuck up the situation or they don't want to be... They, they, they may fear that you may reject them. Did you ever think about that? That's why it's taking his time. Maybe. So it may make it seem like he's messing with your mind, but you, I, I don't know. I don't know your personal situation. It, like, but I know this. I'm also speaking from experience as well, where I put, was in the situation where like, I was proper feeling there and that, and shit, like, I was just scared. I don't know why I was scared. Like, but, um, actually no, I know why I was scared. Cause I was low on confidence. Because when I've got my confidence up, there ain't nothing no woman can tell me in it. Well, don't get it twisted, but like, you know what I mean? My confidence is on another level. My confidence is on to the point where some people think I'm arrogant. Like, I heard a lot of women say that I'm arrogant, but I'll take that. You hear me? I'll take that. Um, that just shows you the levels. But before there was a time when I wasn't arrogant and my confidence was low, so... I'm there thinking she may reject or... Do you know what I mean? Because it's mad how in life, when you get rejections, you may think, oh, well, that's going to happen this time again. Or this is going to happen. Like, you see certain patterns and it's like, oh, this is going to happen. So you just don't do anything else. But this is why I recommend both men and women get on your purpose, learn about um, developing your overall health because that's going to build up your confidence to the next level and yeah 
get me you'll take both take action in your situation if you're feeling each other is what it is but let's keep moving You know what this also reminds me of, like speak like obviously the visuals is doing its thing, don't get me wrong, yeah. But it's the song itself, like the hook, like and the the, the melody and the, just the whole production value. It's giving me that like nineties, two thousand era. You know what I mean? Like fling on Trace FM, you hear this on draft time. You hear Daddy you're only playing this in the wait no that, yeah Daddy only used to be in the morning sometimes sometimes Cat Cat and R B Cat and R B or Cat and Richard Cat B no is it Cat B yeah Cat and R B Cat and Richard Blackwood get me sometimes they'll be like Saturday morning I can I can hear them playing this type of tune you feel me I you know what like this is oh man this is like it's giving me like that reminiscent type of vibe like. You know it's a new tune, well I know it's a new tune, technically, or by chronologically, but it's also giving me that nostalgic kind of feel, and that's a good look. So get me, big up Cheryl and the producers on this track. I'm telling you, they did they did their thing. They did their thing. But even the visuals as well, like, you know what I mean? Let's keep moving on. See, out now, transition EP, transition the EP. But well, please put Tidal up on there as well. I mean, well, I don't know Tidal, so you know, I'm not going to promote Tidal like that. But anyway, um, uh, and I think with Tidal, they pay the most, they pay artists the most out of all the streaming platforms. So, I mean, if I was doing music, Tidal would be number one. In fact, I should start doing music again. This, this, this is the type of tune and vibe that makes me want to do music again. I don't know what like. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. But feeling the tune, like the the like with the visuals, it just added more to it. It just added more to the reason why I fucking love this tune. Like I absolutely love it. And um like I said, it's giving me that nineties, two thousand vibe. Get me. Like I'm I'm feeling that. Um so listen, ten out of ten for the visuals, ten out of ten for the song, um the song itself. Like I said, go stream the EP, the transition. Um, so yeah, so yeah, transition EP. And yeah, man. And now also, I've got to mention something else as well. Like I like the glasses she was wearing. It really does suit her her style. Like you know the the image really where she was the scene where she's wearing yellow, where she kind of mad with the brat. That part gave me. She wearing gloss. Those glasses were nice still. But anyway, not, not I hate using the word nice because I know what it actually means. But anyway, the link to the original video is in the description box below. Make sure you go watch that, watch that, watch that. Uh, hit up the socials, the links there, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Go follow, go follow, go follow. Hit the subscribe button on this though. Um, that, uh, hit the bell notification. Suggest whatever video you want me to react to next. Leave that in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. Give me a shine, girl. Give me a sign, girl. If you're liking what you're seeing, you better fess up. No, for real. In fact, before I get out of it, for real though, if you're liking what you're seeing, yeah, like women, listen up. If you're liking what you're seeing, you better fess up to the man that you're attracted to, yeah? I.e. me. And that, um, I say I.e. me, but you know I'm playing around. But if you are feeling me, do fess up. But like, um, so then the man can know when to make a move. Do you see what I'm saying? You know what move to make because 
we're living in a, like we're living in a I don't want to call it a strange era, but there is the era where men have to be precautious with everything they do. So it's best that you give them a sign, like a clear cut sign, like i.e. just tell them point blank directly that you are feeling them. Do you know what I mean? And then the man should make his move based upon that. You know what I'm saying? Makes things a lot more easier. Reckon? Leave your answer in the comments section below if you believe that would make things a lot more easier.